What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Jenks08 YouTube video. Now, I know this video is a little bit old and it's sort of back when Lakers and Denver were just finishing up their run. Uh, I wanted to watch this video to find out where will LeBron James play next season. Well, not to find out, but to see what these guys have to say. This is FanDuel. Um, go follow them. Uh, I'm quite enjoying their, their coverage of the LeBron and the, like everything, the Wemby stuff they did. Um, just heaps of stuff. I'm, I'm just enjoying FanDuel TV, um, the basketball stuff, I guess I'm trying to say. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to watch this video. Probably skip over any stuff that we already know about because it's been about five days or six days since this video came out. So, um, But yeah, I was interested to see see what they do. But anyway, let's uh, let's see what they're up to. So let's start. There's three prongs to this. Let's start with LeBron James. I'm told LeBron ex is expected to play up to two more NBA seasons. So he just finished year 21. He's going to play at least 23, is from what I'm told, potentially up to 23. He's got a $51.4 million player option. He could opt in. How much? Uh, he Dang. could opt out. 51.4. The Lakers. See, that's a, that's a lot of money to turn down. But I suppose when you're LeBron, do you need to take that? Is it more important to get another ring? Is it more important to play with your son? Um, that's all questions that I would be thinking of LeBron. are willing to give him whatever he wants, essentially. Mm. If it's a one-year max, a two-year max, even a three-year, $164 million maximum contract if he wants to come back. Mm. LeBron James is going to have to monitor exactly how they handle the offseason, how they build a roster. Clearly, there needs to be changes to this roster. His option date deadline is June 29th. Interesting timing, right? It's mm -hmm. right before free agency and right after the draft. And what's potentially on draft night? His son, Bronny James and in a perfect world the Lakers have LeBron James back and potentially they draft Bronny James I'm told they are interested in picking him in are. the draft in June and you know, Bronny James obviously will have a decision to make going through the pre-draft process so that is where they stand with LeBron James and where they stand potentially with Bronny James the other big question is the future of Darvin Ham mm -hmm. so me personally I don't think the Lakers should stick with LeBron. Now, I'm a LeBron fan. Uh, I think that they should look at complete rebuild of the Lakers, uh, starting with maybe some trades, maybe try to get back a few uh, early first-round picks. You're probably not going to get too many really early, early picks, but you know some things that you can build with. Uh, and I wouldn't be trying to win at all. I'd be looking at a future of you know five to ten years. Um, building like the way the uh, San Antonio Spurs are looking to do, building the way that, by the looks of it, Minnesota are doing right now. They've built through the draft, I mean, with Ant Edwards at least. Uh, I, I would be looking to try and go that kind of route and try to recreate what it meant to be a Laker uh, through hard work and, and growing together and building together as opposed to just buying talent. I know it's Lakers, everyone wants to play in LA, they've always brought talent. You think back to, um, you know, when they got Shaq, and then uh, even the years that they lost in, like, the late, or oh, mid-2000s, when it was, like, you know, Shaq, Kobe, and then you they brought in Karl Malone. I know they were aging, Gary Payton, uh, and then, you know, obviously they got Pau Gasol later on, and then they tried with Steve Nash and, and Kobe and Metal World Peace and all that stuff. Like, you know, they, they've always brought stars, but um, I, I would be looking at a complete... Uh, culture change in the Lakers. That's what I would do if I was the Lakers. Obviously, you're going to be at the top of the, you know, people coming to watch you. Can you afford to be the bottom rung of the NBA for, you know, five, ten years? Maybe you can uh, if you're the Lakers because you're going to have people watching you regardless. Um, but I think there needs to be a culture change in LA. But that's just me. Now, they're going to talk about Darvin Ham here. I can already see down the bottom, uh, down here, how long they talk about Darvin Ham. Uh, we already know Darvin Ham and pretty much the entire, uh, all basically all his coaches, assistant coaches, and that will all let go. So we're going to skip past that. We're going to go up here to LeBron James' future and uh, see what they have to say about that because that's what I'm really interested in. What do they think he's going to do? Um, before they say what they want, what they think he's going to do, I'm going to say what I think he's going to do. I think that he opts out of his contract and then he looks at offers for people that are showing interest in his son. And then he says, I'll join you guys if you draft my son. You know, it's not the greatest for his son, obviously. But I think he, he wants to play with his son, one. And I think that he also wants to uh, win a championship with his son. 
So is that Golden State? Is that, uh, you know, a team that has all the pieces but they're just not fitting together and they need that one extra piece, someone like LeBron? Uh, I don't know. I don't know, but let's see what they say. So that's what I think That's what I think is going to happen with LeBron. But we'll see. We'll revisit that down the track when LeBron gets dra- uh, gets traded or, or fe- leaves his contract or whatever, um, doesn't accept his player. player uh, you guys know what I'm trying to say. Running out of the words there. So for the LeBron postseason fun to begin. He kicked it off right after this game last night. Here he is. Okay, we've got an ad here. We'll skip over this as soon as we can. So I apologize about that. I just actually booked in to get my eyes checked. That's why we're getting spec savers. Have you given any initial thoughts of what comes next this summer for next season? Uh, no, I just want to get on to the family, honestly. Um, um, start looking at the schedule, obviously. I got... Uh, you know, my son, one of my boys is just trying to decide if he's going to, you know, enter the draft or go back to school. i got another kid that's uh, playing AU ball right now. My daughter's playing uh, volleyball. Um, and my wife is doing so many great things. So it's about family right now. And then in a couple months, i got to go to Vegas for training camp. <laughs> so, you know, i got to rest my body for, for USAB. But um, you know, that's kind of the initial thoughts. Tonight, was there any thought at all that, you know, this could have been your last game with the Lakers? Um, I'm not going to answer that. See, like, don't get me wrong, love LeBron. I always have, he's been my favorite player for the last, you know, 21 years. Uh, I think as someone that is looking to be a good teammate, I think you say, no, we will focus on the game. We went out there, we didn't get it done. And, uh, you know, we're just moving on. Like I said, going to my family. Uh, you know, got a lot of things to do in the near future. Uh, that's what I think he should have said. Now, when I think about LeBron, I think he is egotistical. Um, like, I don't mind. I think he's a decent person for the most part. I think there's been some weird things that have happened, you know, that have made him seem a little bit... Mm, yeah, you know. But I would I, I would say, knowing LeBron, or knowing the way that LeBron has conducted himself over the years, I think he says this knowing... Like, I think he's a really smart person, especially somebody that never went to um, never went to college or anything like that, like Americans put all that emphasis on. I think he s- says things like this because he knows, okay, now everyone starts talking about me. Now all the and uh, all the GMs around the league know I I said this. So now maybe I'm I'm available. You know, still averaged really good numbers, especially for somebody his age. Uh, you know, can't carry a team like you used to, but now everyone's talking, and the whole LeBron drama starts again for like a fifth time or a fourth or fifth time in his career. So that's why I think he did that. But appreciate it. <clears throat> and so it begins the off season of mystery. <clears throat> like I said, this is, this is normal, right? He's always held his cards close yeah, when it comes to free agency, cards. when it comes to changing teams. And as players, that's what we always respected about LeBron. He's always been one step ahead of business decisions when it comes to the jersey that he wears, the teammates that he's going to play with, the coaching. Mm-hmm. He's always in control of his destiny, and, and that's something that he's earned, and you got to respect in season 21. Is there a world in which somebody, another team, does a petty draft of Bronny just to, saw, to see what would happen? I saw something so funny. This dude tweeted, the Nuggets should draft Bronny and yes. then not sign LeBron. <laughs> like, is there, is there a world in which we could that see something? A... <laughs> that, that would be pretty funny if the Nuggets drafted Bronny but then not sign LeBron just to, like, get under his skin, like, for a last minute. Like, you know, the whole, who's your daddy? Like, it's like, hey, we got your son, so who's your daddy? That would be think, double meaning. Oh, yeah. that would just be yeah. such a power play. I mean, this is definitely going to be a one of a kind situation where you have one of the best to ever do it, sort of hold the organization to the fire to bring his kid. Which again, this, there's or, so many levels to this because then you think about the kid and like, do you even want to the, enter like this? That's the thing. Say he already has a deal in place with whoever the Lakers, yeah. whoever. That doesn't mean a team in front of them can't just hop in that's and take I'm him, saying. knowing that all LeBron James wants is to play with his son. Hi, so <clears throat> hell yeah, if I'm but a contender, on the flip side, you don't do you don't draft a kid that doesn't want to be there in the first place. If I'm like OKC or <laughs> one of these teams that have draft picks and they're already in contention, why the hell wouldn't I take Brian James? If that means I. I don't know if you've noticed on it, but there keeps being little skips of, of audio, so I don't know if that's happening from my end or that's happening from the video end. But if it is from my end, I apologize. Um, not much I can do, but we'll go back. These to teams that have draft picks and they're already in contention, why the hell wouldn't I take Brian James if that means I get LeBron? 
Well, this is what I'll say. I would do it. A thousand percent. <laughs> if it was a team it too, in the first but... round, I'm sure that'll work out exactly how Bronny James wanted. He's going to go in the first round. If he goes in the Great second point. round and you get drafted there, obviously the team that's picking him, there's some level of like, we want you. There's a desire level there. And at that point, I think LeBron James is a father. I think, I think Bronny James, he has his own representation as well. Like, he's going to have to make the best decision for his career as well as far as if there's a team in the second round, not the Lakers, that'll draft you early in the second round potentially, give you more guaranteed money. Mm. Like, that's a better situation for you individually. For sure. Plus, he and, can jump back into the portal, right? And like, also, case? let's be clear. If it looks like this it's not happening. This whole time, LeBron said this is a preference. It's not, it's not ride or die. It absolutely. He would love to. This make is it the happen. Lakers making it known. We Lou. support this and but, we want to make it happen. Absolutely. And Lewis. Lewis Bartholomew <laughs> Williams. No, you listen. know damn good and well. Right, and we'll, be here, and we'll be here in June talking about, well, you were right. So, <laughs> <laughs> so again, we're talking about LeBron, LeBron, LeBron. At the end of the day, Bronny has shown that he's created some separation. He has his own, <clears throat> his, has his own representation, which is still the same thing. But at some point, as a grown man, he's going to want to make decisions for himself. That's the best decision. Who's Bronny's, who's Bronny's agent? Same agent, Rich Paul. You know his agent. <laughs> so he's saying he's got the same agent as LeBron, which I understand. I would too if I was him, but I think you do have to make the right decision for yourself. But yeah, who knows? Maybe he wants to be the only person in NBA history to play with his son, or with his father. Like, you know, I don't know. Who knows? <laughs> but, but this is the, this is the thing. Let's say, let's say, let's say there's a team at like 35 that wants him, really wants him. And we'll give him more guaranteed Ooh. money. I, yeah, it's got. Oh. It does matter who. The, the one two. The, well, he's got to go through the pre-draft. I'm saying Bronny. Bronny. Yeah. I'm saying it gives him more guaranteed money. That is the problem that no one's talking. No one really wants him unless they're getting LeBron. He's not. He's not like this next big, big thing. He's I not this. You know I, mean? like, I, I think so. I think you he do? has potential. Well, I just like I, what is. I thought a, the a team only would want him because of LeBron James. Like no, that that kid is a. a he's gonna be a talent. You've, you've talked to people that said... I mean, the question is, isn't if is Bronny James a draft pick for multiple teams. It's where is he going to go in the draft and is he going to be comfortable enough with wherever he lands in the pre-draft process to stay in the draft? <laughs> That's the question. This guy, LeBron, already knows who's drafted him. He already knows where he's yes. playing, and he's he knows everything. He, you think he's just doing this just to do it? He know he, this guy runs the whole that league. Part is, but again, uh, if, the, the if that was the, if that was the case, he'd had no problem saying yes. I'll be back with the Los Angeles Lakers no, next year. No, why would he do that? That's not his game. Yeah, he's that's never not done his that. Style. No, but this is our first time ever seeing it for this reason. It's always been about LeBron James. Now he's holding his cards for Bronny James. And he, actually, I take that back. He's done this in Cleveland when he wanted to get J.R. Smith signed, when he wanted to get Tristan Thompson signed, when he <laughs> wanted to get all those guys back. He held the cards and said, make sure you pay my guys, and then I'll, I'll commit to it. He's doing the same Just thing Just know, he's always in control when we of see happens. Bronny James officially declare for the draft, yes. that shit is done. Then it's done. Everyone knows, he, LeBron knows, he knows exactly where he's going. There's no way he's, he's just going to enter locker. the draft and like see where he goes like every other normal kid in the world. It's not LeBron James is only has that pool when it comes to the Los Angeles Lakers. I, I don't think the Orlando Magic care about LeBron James. I think he could be talking. I think Rich Paul if, could be talking to the Orlando Magic right they now. Want his, if they want Bronny, <laughs> Bronny is his own entity. He's already created that. He's already created that 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 level of conversation. So I can see where Lou Will is talking like coming from like He's trying to put the best spin on everything for Bronny. Like, I'm guessing here, like, he probably knows what it's like to go through all that process. I know Chandler Parsons does too. But, like, you know, I feel like he's trying to be overly optimistic where the others are just not being pessimistic, but, like, trying to just be, like, a little bit more real about probably how things are going down. Like, you know, I think that's, that's what it is. No. No. Yes. No, not on his talent yet. <laughs> Absolutely. No, because that's the whole thing, right? Is that this seems premature, but they're going to sort of test the waters and see if it's viable. And then he always has the option to go back to school. The numbers weren't there, but he also was on minutes restriction. The kid just had heart surgery. <laughs> right. So he, yeah, he didn't have the season that he wanted, but he's been a pro prospect for it. But that, the whole health issue he's, is also another since glaring Since he was issue. conceived, Lou? Because that doesn't count. <laughs> no, <laughs> for the past two years. Listen, I think a, he has a, a chance a to... McDonald's All-American goes, goes to a, a Well, D1. there's been players that have been picked in the second round with, with worse stats. That's what I mean. I think, sure. listen, there's I, always... I the second round is real. What are we talking about? It's there is a chance in college. <laughs> Those things are projections. Uh, you guys know. There is obviously a chance that he can be a better pro than he was a college player. He hasn't been a great college player yeah. with the inconsistency of his health and his minutes, like Lou just said. All I'm saying is whoever drafts him in the back of their head, you don't think it's partially because we can get his dad? 1,000%. 
That's the only, I, like, yes, the, yes. Listen. Maybe the potential, sure, is it a could thought? Absolutely. Oh, but yeah, that's you know, the what, main thought. What we're saying is LeBron James is in control of that. I disagree. I, I, it's teams that could give a shit less what his opinion or what his preferences are. I, I do want someone to draft before the Lakers. Right. Like that, I, want that, to cut really I want someone to cut their legs. <laughs> just okay. be like, like <laughs> Chicago, just take him and we're make next. LeBron. Like, yeah, see how serious <laughs> he is. God, that would be an amazing draft. I might actually watch an entire draft at that point. <laughs> Oh uh, man, okay. That that's interesting. I I think um, I think that they've all got valid points. I don't know. It'd be very interesting to see where Bronny goes and what happens. So uh, look for uh, my channel. Look for Jang's Away YouTube channel to be um, you know looking over all this. I'm going to be making more YouTube videos like this where I'm sort of analyzing things that happen in the off season and in the rest of the season that's coming up. Uh, I'm just trying to figure out where what I can and can't react to um, from a, a logistical standpoint for my channel. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. Um, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that thumbs up button or like button. I can't remember what it's called anymore. I think it's a thumbs up button. Uh, and yeah, because it does help uh, more people see my video. And yeah, make sure, like I said, hit that subscribe button and uh, help me get to 1,000 subscribers because we are been stagnant for a long time, but we're on the way. I think we're at like... 739 or something like that so yeah only a few to go so hopefully i can get to that thousand uh soon so yeah anyway thank you guys for watching uh, stay tuned for the next one peace